Hi, I'm Alan. Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to draw Blue Jay and talk about finding inspiration. Let's get to it. I'll have the reference photo I'm drawing from up on the screen for those of you that like to draw along. I put together a set of 50 reference images of birds, and I've been doing a series of drawings from them. Stay tuned for a video about that when I finish. Anyway, for this sketchbook page, I sat down at my desk with every intention of breaking out my colored pencils, but that's not what happened. What actually happened was that after I pulled up this reference and spent a moment with the beautiful blue jay, I changed my mind. I skipped the colored pencils entirely and picked up a blue ballpoint pen. It just felt right. You have to balance the ideas in your head of what you should be doing or maybe plan to do with where inspiration actually takes you in the moment. Some days I make a point to practice a specific medium or fundamental skill since I'm always trying to improve my art. But today I decided to just follow my instinct and work with what I was drawn to. Now, ballpoint pen is one of my favorite things to draw with, so it's actually not all that surprising. However, what was surprising, even to me, is that after I got my initial sketch done and started shading, I realized that one shade of blue was not going to cut it for this bird. And I ended up breaking out my alcohol markers. I couldn't resist. Markers are a little bit hit or miss for me, so it felt risky, but I'm so glad I did it. Just look at how he came to life once I started layering in more color. I knew from the beginning that I'd be putting in some white highlights at the end with the gel pen, and that's always one of my favorite parts of the drawing process, because usually it's the last step I do, and it really brings my drawings to life. But this time, I was on a roll, and I followed one final impulse and added in that partial green background, which made him pop even more. I hope you agree. I won't tell you that experimenting always works out, because if you take risks, you'll come up with the occasional duds. But some days, following your inspiration helps a piece take on a little life of its own. This one had that feeling for me, and I'm really pleased with the results. He's only half the spread though, so I think I'll have to draw him a counterpart. Maybe a cardinal or a flamingo. Something fiery for sure. Let me know which you think I should go for in the comments below. And thanks so much for letting me share my art with you. Stay creative. Today, I'm gonna blood. I'm gonna draw. 